Hi, I'm Cindy. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm unboxing a new bag from Lo Yue. Ta-da! It's in this box. I'm going to show you in a minute. Please stay tuned. Unboxing together with me. I'll also show you some tips on how to keep your belongings safe with open top bags. So please stay watching till the end of this video. Inside of the box is a dust bag. The dust bag is just a white canvas um, with some strings and also there's a anagram, low UV tag. Ta-da! It's the Paulus Ibiza 2023 Raffia font bag in the sides small. You can see I went for the original untreated raffia color and all the whole body of the bag is made raffia including the five letters loy way inside of the bag there are just some tags and some little booklets another booklet plus the leather handle Let's remove the tags. So now just the bag. Inside there's no pouches, so just back of the raffia. To the side there are some leather tags holding the leather strap. The width of the bag is 24 centimeters. The depth is 10 centimeters. The height of the bag is 19.5 centimeters. The handle drop from the top to the top edge of the bag is 16 centimeters. There are three punched holes for you to adjust the bag at either end of the strap. It can be extended from one. 107 centimeters to 117 centimeters. The strap is made with leather in a tender color. The stitching is sort of matching with slightly a bit lighter and the hardware, the loop and the stack on the strap there in gold brass color. The bag is online, you can see, and he's made in Madagascar. I always have a, a soft spot for Loi Wei's raffia bags, even though I've never owned one in the past, because these bags are supporting a cause, because for every Iraq basket and Loi Wei font tote bags being sold, Loi Wei will donate towards projects for the local communities who hand make them. The donation will help create a university scholarship program for the children of the artisans in Naroyono, Colombia, and build a craft training school in Antananarivo, Madagascar. The new font tote is hand woven by artisans in Madagascar using locally sourced raffia leaves, working with Envo Madagascar, an NGO created in 2018 to help vulnerable women access education and professional training. Loi Wei aims to build a craft training school that will teach women raffia waving, embroidery and sewing techniques in the island's capital city, Antananarivo, Madagascar. The craftswomen who make the Loi Wei areca baskets in Colombia are part of a thriving artisan community that offers friendship, financial independence and an important support network. Their new scholarship program aims to enable their children to attend university, an initiative developed in collaboration with the non-profit organization foundation Solidaridad for Colombia, founded in 1975 to promote human solidarity, welfare and youth education. Even though we buy a bag, we spurge and then at least it's for a good cause. I got mine from Selfridges store in London recently. It's the only one they had in the shop so I have to reserve and go and grab it. The full name of the bag is Loi Wei Font Tote Raffia Bag. It's rather cute. They have released so many different variations of this bag in different colors and different designs. And uh, the one I have is the just the raffia. Um, the other ones they have are yellow, dark green, black. So contrasting Loi Wei wave onto the body of the bag in the same design. And they have stripy ones. And they have um, some ones with back charms like a rose and a some others with really uh, funky back straps so uh, you can check it out the size of this collection of bags are ranging from small medium to large and also they've just recently released the mini one 
which is an online exclusive. You can only get it from the Lo Wei online store. You can't get it from any of their boutiques or concessions in, in department stores. The description from the website is, is the color is natural and the Lo Wei font tote is a cubo bag woven entirely in raffia with a contrasting Lo Wei signature. This is a small version. Hand carry or shoulder carry, detachable and adjustable shoulder strap is online. Although, even without any lining or backing, the bag, when it sits down, it doesn't collapse. You can see sitting on the box, kind of like semi-soft, got some body to it. But however, it does hold its shape. See on the side, it's not collapsing, but much softer than the raffia basket. As this is an open top bag, there is no drawstring insert or lining to it. So as I have some low way dust bags already, I'm just going to use an old dust bag as an insert to create some security for it. The dust bag I'm using, the size of it is 36 and a half centimeters long, 31 and a half centimeters tall. Again with the strings on the pulling strings on the top and the usual anagram at the bottom. So I'm just going to insert this into the bag. Actually this is quite a good fit because you want some room at the bottom or also you want some space at the top as well. You can see if I keep things in it, once I put my belongings in there and then I can just pull the strings, tie the strings up and therefore my valuables would stay in the bag and not just hanging around. Anyone can dip into their hand into it for anyone walk up, walk about shopping or travel on public transport. So this would be a safe way to deal with this open top bag issue. Once the pouch is tied up and you can use this, just lift it up, everything is in there and you can pop into another bag which is you can use as a bag insert if you have loads of um, open top handbags or shoulder bags. So this is just a little good tip to share with you. Next I'm going to show you what's in my bag. First of all a Louis Vuitton toiletry bag, inside is some perfume, inhaler, SPF suntan lotion. So I'm just going to put them in there first on the bottom. And then my Clegg's key holder pouch, sunglasses pouch and for cables and headphones and also a little handheld fan. This is such a great little tool. I normally use this for drying my makeup after I do the setting spray. The three settings and then I usually just use this so because it's really hot just pretend that we're going to the beach so this would be really good to kind of like keep your face dry and then so that's the fan goes in after all the of those items there's still some room on the top everything is in there and then now i'm just going to pull the strings tie it up everything it stays in the dust bag you can call it a pouch and it's not over the brim there's still rooms for it and also i think this dust bag with the strings adds a little um, extra details to the bag. So there you go, there is the bag. It doesn't alter the overall look of the bag. It's still the bag as it is. The bag is retailed at 795 pounds. It's slightly more expensive than the usual baskets, but I think this one is a bit more like a handbag other than just the raffia bag. It's not too small, it's not too big. I'm not a fan of underarm bags, so I always prefer a small top handle and uh, with crossbody straps. I just found it just versatile and you either hold it on, on the arm and cross the body and just sling it on the side of the body. It's very nice. On the back if you want to create a quiet luxury look and then you can just use the back. Facing the world if you want to show a little bit of so-called logo and then you can show the low way as the outer side of the bag. I'm very pleased with it because I've been debating for years whether I get a basket bag and, th and then once Celine got their basket bag out I thought maybe I should get one but I've never really took the plunge until this year once this came out so I thought I really really want to get it because I really like the look of it. It's very simple and it can host quite a fair bit amount of items in there or your essentials in there 
and then you can work at the city bike weekend bike and go to the picnic to the beach so it's such a sweet little bag and also it's not just like too small you can't hold anything in it just for show but this one is meets in the middle because I do not really like too large beach bags I found it only just use it at the beach from a day-to-day -day purpose is is a bit too unfriendly to me on the back of the bag it just plain raffia there's no logos or anything just just plain and however I just thought that is an idea I would like to share with you so if you have this Loi Wei anagram brooch you can pin it just at the top of the bag so that would change the look of the bag quite dramatically it looks quite um, pretty so I'm going to just pin this on and then I'll show you the result because this is the raffia waving is got a pattern so you have to do it diagonally because of the pin is diagonal so you just go along with the just push along the pattern secure brooch so now the pin the brooch is on so now you can see the bag has the brooch on it and if you want to wear it on the on this side so you have something decorated so this side is the low way font letters and then this side is the anagram brooch in gold hard colored metal i think it adds a little bit of sparkle to the bag makes it quite pretty